Did you guys know I could do magic? Ooh, oh, oh. Ooh. Today, I'm gonna build a Lego car that's hopefully powered by magnets. The reason I wanted to do this is because I saw this meme that's been going around. And it's basically a car with a long arm on the top of it that's holding a magnet, and there's a magnet on the front of the car that supposedly always attracts the car so that it can constantly move forward. Now, this is a meme, but aren't you kind of curious if it works? <laughs> So these are magnets that I bought, and these are actually horseshoe magnets, the ones used in the memes. As you can see, they stick together. The important thing to note when using magnets is that you never want to put them near electronics because they can wipe them. So the first thing we gotta do is build a car with four wheels and then attach magnets to the front of it. Lucky for us, we have a lot of wheels to choose from. So now we have four tires, obviously. That's how we build our car. We're gonna put two here and two here. So now we just need to build a frame. Start with some Technic pieces. To build our frame, we're gonna lock these Technic bricks together with Technic pins and put a couple of these in the middle to actually make it wide. Nice, and the easiest way to build up a frame is using Technic pieces because it's pretty quick and it essentially just builds a simple frame and then we can just connect this. So for the wheels, we just need to attach them using long axles. Please. And then we need some of these. So we take one of these and we throw that through there. Add one of these. Then we add our wheel. Now this can snap in just like that. And now we have a wheel. Wow. Now we just gotta attach the other wheels. Ta-da! Perfectly functional car. Now, the question is, if we take this, I'm gonna show you something here that you're gonna need to keep in mind later. If we take this, and we loop it around that, keep this in mind, hold this magnet in front of it, it moved the car. Now, I want you to keep that in mind later as a scientific experiment that we just did, <laughs> for lack of a better word. So we just gotta build up the walls on the car, and then we can build the crane arm, which will attach to the front, and then we'll attach the magnets to both of those. We need to make sure we leave space over here, or like a little gap or something to snap in the magnet holder so we don't just build up the wall and then realize later, hey, we should have attached the magnet there. <laughs> How do we attach this right here? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm gonna put that right there. We'll lock that in to make sure it fits into the frame, but then all we gotta do is just put in a couple of these pins, like this. Nice, and then this should fit right in between there. Now that we have those poking out, we can just build the rest around it. See, like this. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing we did down here with two more of these little things. They'll hopefully hold our magnet in place. Now to attach the magnet, all we gotta do is slide this in here and then add two axle thingies. We really need to weigh down the back of this. How do we stop that from happening? I don't know, but I'll probably figure it out. We can obviously add cool designs to this if we want to later, but now I just gotta get the basic idea built up. See if this thing will actually work. Now we got a plate on top and we'll hammer this down. And the plate on top will lock everything together as long as we can hammer it down. We put this across here. This is four blocks up. And if you have four blocks between two studs, you can take a lift arm, attach it to this, and then attach this here. And then this simply snaps in. And because they're four bricks apart, it is the perfect length for those to line up. So now, the back end, as you can see, very not heavy. <laughs> Very light, I meant to say. So something heavy we can put back here is a bag of coins, and that will weigh this down. And see, now what we do, we load it into the back like that. Actually, we have to put this piece in first, but after that, we do it. Oh yeah, now we gotta push a lot on this side for it to actually flip over. Simple weight mechanics, you guys. I came up with it myself, even the name. Now that we got the mount in place and the weight in the back, all we gotta do is build up this front driver's cab, I don't know what it's called, and then we can build the arm. So yeah, I told you I was good at magic <laughs> and forgetting to press the record button, apparently. <laughs> so now it looks like this. Doesn't that look pretty sick? Now, we need to build the arm that's gonna hold the other magnet. We want this magnet to be actually facing the car and basically we're gonna have an arm that just comes up off the car and holds the magnet, which will hopefully propel the car. Well, the best way to use this is probably using Technic and I'm gonna use some yellow because yellow looks cool. I'd like to take this second right here to stop you and ask if you might consider subscribing. It's free, all you gotta do is hit the button right down below with the subscribe button. Let's get back to this. So now, I just wanna see if this will actually hold it if we do this and this. It does hold it. That's exactly what we need like that. Technically, we could just attach it right here. Let me just adjust that a little bit. <laughs> we need one more joint here, and then one that goes straight down to the other part. 
Now we just need to stop this from going in that way because that's where the magnet is. And if this is going to attract the magnet, it has to be a static connection. Otherwise the magnet will just swing into it. So all we gotta do for that is just lock this using Bam. Now it's locked. To add details later, we'll add some of these studs on the side bricks, and that will let us make cool designs on it. And they will continue re-sturdifying it. Now, one of the problems we're gonna have, if you take this and you hold it here, you know, it's not that bad, you can hold it up. If you go further to the end, because of all this extra weight now being multiplied by the distance, make sure that's how it works, it's much harder to hold this up. So we're gonna need to build something kind of like we did here, kind of the same thing where it holds it up for where it connects to the truck. So now it's step 85. We need to connect this to this. So what I'm doing is I'm adding these corner pieces to make it rigid because sometimes I can only connect this, like this yellow piece here, to one side of this. So by adding these pieces in the middle, it makes it rigid and strong. Hey! I'm thinking, maybe like two of these of the longest size. Put those in here. That should get us up to the right height. All right guys, so here we have it. We have it all built up, as you can see. Some beautiful designs I made originally. I think overall it turned out pretty good with all the details, but the question still remains, will this create a perpetual motion machine? No more need for gas, petrol, whatever. As you can see, here we go. Opposites attract, so we want blue going to red. All right, so now we have the magnet here. The chocks are still in place, so it can't move. When we take the chocks away, the question is, will this actually work? So here we go. We're gonna prove the hypothesis here. In three, two, My hypothesis is correct. So as you can see, you cannot create an infinite motion machine using magnets. So here's why this car doesn't work. From how I understand it, you can imagine it like this. If I take one magnet and I put it above my head and I take the other magnet and I hold it above my head, I don't fly into outer space because that's not how magnets work. According to Newton's first law, an object, this car, that's at rest on this table will stay at rest unless it's acted upon by an external force. Now it's not at rest. <laughs> if I were to stand here and pull myself forward, I'm not gonna go anywhere because I'm pulling myself. The reason these two magnets don't make the car move is because they cancel each other out. You gotta remember, movement is relative. So when I put this magnet in front of this magnet, it doesn't just carry it away. That's not how it works. If both magnets are attached to the same thing, there's no external force at work except for gravity. But if we take one magnet off and hold it in front of the car, we can make the car move because I'm holding the magnet and I'm acting as an external force. I've linked some videos in the description that can explain this a lot better than I can. I'm not a physicist, so. <laughs> so there's your answer. Check out those other videos down below if you wanna know more about it. Check out one of these two videos popping up on the screen because I think you'll really enjoy them. And also, don't forget to check out the sponsor of this video, Crazy Kai's Bricklink Store for your Lego brick needs. You can check them out by clicking the link down in the description or by clicking the button right here on the screen. See ya.